was 11 years old, when my family told me that your wedding will be in the next three days, I knew that marriage will end my life, so I ran away. I was born in Yemen. There is no law protecting girls from child marriage in my country. My auntie was like my best friend. We were children playing together, running and chasing each other. She got married when she was 14. After she got married, we weren't allowed to play with her anymore because children are not meant to be mixed with married people. She decided to end her life by burning herself. And after that happened, my family told my sister that she's gonna be married at the age of 13. She refused, threatening them. I'll do the same thing as my auntie did, and no one believed her. And she did actually try to commit suicide and she burned her body, but her life was saved. When my family opened the topic of my wedding is gonna be in the next three days, I knew that marriage will kill me or kill my childhood. The next morning, I ran away to my uncle's house. He was the only one who's educated about the importance of girls' rights. And I knew he was gonna support me and he will protect my life. He wasn't there. So I tried to contact his closest friends. And one of them took me to another city. The only choice is to record a video. Maybe my uncle sees the video and come and help me. فأنا أنا ب... أنا صح أنني هربت من أهلي صح أنا ما عاد إيش عندهم خلاص أنا إيش عند عيش عند عمي إيش براءة الطفولة إيش ذنب الأطفال من تزوجوهم كذا؟ My uncle saw the video and he came to me and we went to the home office in Yemen and that was no law to protect me but media was my law. Media put a pressure on the government to move my responsibility from my parents to my uncle. When I left Yemen, I made my own charity, which is Nada Foundation. We made three programs. The first program was to protect victims of child marriage. The second one was social media awareness. And the third one to give girls English courses for free in Yemen. So many people were very angry about me because I'm the one who speak up and show child marriage and girls' rights in Yemen. I'm in the UK now. I feel more safe. I feel like I can spread my message. I can tell the world that what you're doing is killing these young people, killing a whole generation for your own tradition. My parents were mad at me and they didn't like the idea of me refusing to be married at that age. But it took them time to understand that I was just trying to save my life and not be a victim like my auntie or my sister. And now they actually support me for what I do. Educate yourself and the people around you about how important it is for us to give these girls support and give them the chances to achieve their dreams, to have a better life, better future. I am seen. Are you?